When South Korea's new president, Moon Jae-in, warned that soaring inequality could lead to a crisis, he gets a sympathetic ear in workplaces like this one in the port city of Gunsan. Average incomes in the lowest 20% pay bracket fell by more than 5.5% since last year. Even so, I'm working and worried about matters for my retirement. Younger workers, like recently married Chong hye Ju, worry about having children. It's difficult. Even though I have a salary, it's always limited, while living prices are going up. When I'm going to buy some things, if I need two, I just buy one. And when I buy it, I'll even think twice. Among organization of economic cooperation and development countries, South Korea is well below normal when it comes to wages compared to the cost of living. And only Mexico spends less on welfare. Many elderly people here face poverty on retirement and so cling to jobs, which in turn leads to rising youth unemployment. To compensate for all of this and the rising cost of accommodation, South Koreans have increasingly been relying on borrowed money to make ends meet. Household debt level is uh, very serious. Uh, considering the OECD average, which is about 70 percent of GDP, in Korea, the household debt is almost 90 percent of GDP. International monetary fund officials say South Korea's income inequality is now the worst in the Asia-Pacific, with the top 10 percent of the population holding 45 percent of the wealth. Volunteer groups that help people living below the poverty line have welcomed new government initiatives to create jobs, raise pensions and wages and provide additional social assistance. At this centre we are helping disadvantaged and people with a low income. We are assisting those types of people so if there is more support, we could help them more. The government also wants the country's richest to pay more tax. Awareness of inequality is now also rising and action is slowly being taken to try ensure that while the rich keep getting richer, those struggling to make ends meet don't fall by the wayside. Jack Barton, CGTN, Gunsan in South Korea.